Next to him is Liam Rose up top. Zacharias out wide. You've got Denis Kastishin to be ecstasy for Locomotive tonight in the win column. He will be a part of that. Here he is again, 1v1, looking to take players on. If it's not there, comes back through to Navarro. Navarro scored a long, oh, wow, big shot from Mark Navarro. He scored a few games ago an absolute rocket to the pass or the dribble. Huge shot from Locomotive. Really, McHugh's come, come a long way with, with his feet. He's always had the, the skill and the, the strength and the athleticism. He's come, he's done really well in all facets of his game. Very impressed with his, his maturation this year. We're getting awfully close to halftime. We've had some half chances, nothing too striking, but is this going to be the difference? That's a great ball across. Oh, unbelievable ball across and a great finish, great poise from Monterey Bay. Disappointing if you're a locomotive fan, but Alex Dixon, that is a lot of composure inside the six with people all around you, able to take a touch, dig it out from under his foot and put it in the back of the net. That is a, that is a great goal. This is a great ball in. Good ball across, slight deflection. Valeski with a little dummy, able to let it run to his teammate, gets his head up, stays under control. Pretty easy goal. Here he gets it again. Gets the whips the ball in. Headed away by Roberts. It's good defending. Back to Navarro. And there's your halftime whistle. Monterey Bay one. El Paso Locomotive nil as we head into the second half. Aaron Gomez finding Castician with the ball, the deflection across. That's well set up. Unbelievable. Zacharias usually so good with his head, unable to get that away from the keeper. That is the first save for the keeper tonight for Monterey Bay. He has done a masterful job in, in, in saying the right things at the halftime and making the correct subs at the correct times with the correct people in the second half. And then hopefully some of that magic can continue through this, this game. Donor again in space. He's... Dolan Meyer masterfully able to strip him from the ball and, and start the attack. Zacharias in the middle swings it. Miles Lyons been, been quieter than I would have expected today. He needs to find a little bit more of the ball. That's it. another huge switch from Navarro to Petrovic. We've called that a few times today. Petrovic with a deflection and a goal. He will take it 1 1 El Paso. That is the dream start of the second half. The fans are absolute ecstasy here at Southwest University Park. That's another huge ball from Navarro. Navarro is sniping this evening. It's a great hit on his right foot. Petrovic with the goal. That is back post in the side panel. Keeper, nothing you can do about it, young fella. Don't hang your head. That's a, that's a great goal. Maybe we'll look to see that one uh, on a rope and on a dime. And uh, Petrovic in space is a scary proposition uh, as one of, one of his a great goal and, and asked Colorado Springs earlier in the year did his best Ronaldo imitation here's the distribution from Benny Diaz unbelievable in stride to Dennis Castician Dennis Castician in and un good defending that is good defending Liam Rose with a lot of space in the middle has a good ball to Dennis Dennis keeps it well unable to get it off his foot but Advantageously pops to Aaron Gomez, who unloads just a little bit high. Noche de Locos night again here in El Paso. Would love, the fans would love another goal to go home, celebrate the win in style. Keep the player. Yeah, he was awfully quiet in the first half, but we've mentioned his name a couple times here recently, so hopefully he can find a little bit more of the ball. Sometimes you look for the, there's a big shot from Denis Castician. He's known for those long range bombs. Good save by the keeper. Petrovic defending. Valeski here, he's the danger man. It's a nice little possession. Big, that's a great ball over the top. Chase Boone, big shot. He wants, he wants a deflection, he will not get it. 
That is a big missed opportunity. And yet again, Benny, Benny playing fast to Aaron. We've seen this three times tonight. I'm not sure why Monterey Bay hasn't picked up on it. That should be a foul. It is not. Crowd is not into this. And Walmart Martinez replacing Alex Dixon. Alex Dixon had his name called a few times tonight. Had a nice, nice evening as well. And the third Monterey Bay back into Petrovic. Coming around Pitar. He said he'll take on four. Ball across to Manny. Sanope, Sanope finds it. Dispossessed. Big shot from Eric Calvillo. On target. Good save from Herrera. I'm sure the referee's going to say that's not 10 yards. Ball comes across. Headed away easily. But not out. Dispossessed. Trying to get the ball across. That is a good ball. That is a Coley in front of net. Oh, my goodness. Turns and hits it. Takes, I believe, a slight deflection. Benny Diaz doesn't see it. Back of the net. Skulls for fun when he's, when he's on form. Turns and hits. Yes, that's a deflection off McHugh. He's going to be sick about that one. I don't know if Coley knew a ton about it, but it doesn't matter. Ball's in the back of the net. And he is pumped up. About halfway through the stoppage time. There's not much time left. The Monterey Bay would be, oh my goodness. That is a foul on Chris Garcia. That is I, absolutely a yellow card. That is, this may be the last, last gasp here for Locomotive. Last, last attempt. Easily see if they're dispossessed. The game could be called. There's Manny Sinope with a shot over the bar. Sulovic, good turn, plays it in. Sinope, big. Swing and a miss, and there's your ball game. Monterey Bay 2, El Paso Locomotive 1.